Sofago's been going absolutely crazy this year, and he just had a snippet, Keep It Cool V2, come out that the internet has kind of fallen in love with. So I did a cover art concept for it a few days ago that people on his Reddit and my Instagram seem to really enjoy. So I thought I'd jump on here and kind of break down my process and how I did it. So now we're in the project file. The first thing I knew I wanted to do was I wanted the main piece of the cover to be Fago's chain, just because I think it has a lot of character to it because it literally is a character of him. So basically all I did is I went to Google, I just looked up Sofago, went to images. Uh, a little tip for you guys, if you didn't know, you can actually go to tools up here, go to size and large. And basically what that'll do is it'll only show you images that are over a certain size, I guess. So this one was really high quality and the chain looked good. The only issue was these other chains were kind of like overlapping it, but you'll see in the end, it doesn't really make a difference. You can't really tell all that much. So once you drop it in here, I just scaled it up so that the top of the chain went to the top of the cover art, just so it wasn't just floating awkwardly. Basically you can just hit remove back background right down here and then I just kind of went in and cleaned up all these little parts um one thing I will say that I, I usually do for stuff like this don't be afraid to get close to the chain or whatever you're masking out going on top of the chain a little bit is going to help it blend into the background a little bit more which is what you kind of want if you're doing something like this because you want it to look cohesive you don't want it to look flat and, and kind of awkward so basically what I did after that so basically what I did after that is I just duplicated the chain just because it brightened it up a little bit more I grouped it and I just duplicated it into this one duplicated it just because I it kept getting brighter around the edges probably not the best way to do this but in the moment that was just kind of what was working so just duplicated the whole layer again and was messing around with the blending modes and i landed on color dodge which looks really strange but just pr trust the process and then once again i duplicated it and then what i did for this one is i just added it around the edges i didn't add it on the main part of the face just kind of around the edges to just uh, brighten up a little bit more again probably not the best way to do this but and this is just how I did it. What did I do? What did I do? I'm so lost, man. What did I do? So after that, I duplicated the group again and then merged it all together. Uh, it'll have this like weird glow around it, but just trust me, we'll fix that later. After I did that, I just scaled it up because I wanted the chain to just fill up more white space. Again, it looks really bad right now, but after we add the textures and everything, it'll really come all together. Added a, just like a simple hue and saturation on top of the hair. You'll you'll see later why that makes sense because right now it uh, it's not too prominent. What I realized is since all of these diamonds are like white, like all the ones like on his face right here are white and it's really just like his hair and stuff that are colored pink. I just went in with a black and white layer and I just did a layer mask and painted around everywhere that wasn't pink. So all the way up on the Cuban, around the star um and then obviously on his face again it just makes the white diamonds pop a little bit more because those aren't colored and without it obviously with the lighting and everything the way it, you know the lighting is reflecting off the diamonds it makes it look a color that it's not so i added that on and now you can kind of see that it's you know starting to come together and we're getting a little bit closer to the final product so now you can see with the human saturation it does a lot more than it was before so yeah that's why i added it. then i went in with a few textures so you can kind of see we went from this to this i sent this one to screen and i sent this one the lighter color and i made them really low opacity i mean none of them are over 25 percent instead of looking like textures I, w I just wanted it to look like a background not textures on top of the chain or anything like that so that's pretty much the entire cover obviously i added the parental advisory in the corner but that's pretty much it it's a super simple cover that, that you guys can recreate with any artist's chain i think that's one thing artists kind of mess up on with concept covers is they overcomplicate it way too much a good rule of thumb that i use is just go to the spotify for the artist that you're making cover for take a screenshot of all the single covers and album covers that they've done and just replace one of them with your cover art and just see if it works cohesively with the rest of them if it does then you're probably on the right track but i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown i'm also gonna have the project file for this exact cover art in the description below on my website definitely go check that out because you're gonna be able to work with the exact same files that i did i hope you guys enjoyed peace